Hi viewers, Hawks Power Unit here. I had made a uh, modification to my lawnmower so it runs on both propane and gasoline fuel. I uh, got a request from another YouTube viewer for some details about how uh, I modified this machine. So um, I wanted to make this video to show you the little details that I put in here and uh, hopefully this will inspire you and give you some ideas to make your own propane power lawnmower. The lawnmower that I started with is a Craftsman 21 inch cut um, 158cc mower. You can see that this is the one that's rated at five and a half feet pounds of uh, torque. Uh, so this is one of the least expensive models that uh, Sears sells. The great thing about this uh, modification, uh, it allows me to run on both propane fuel or liquid gasoline. There's only one little change that was made on this uh, machine and uh, it's um, uh, very flexible because I don't have to make any other changes to uh, switch back and forth between propane or gasoline. So if you see here is uh, the uh, fuel tank. It's integrated with a carburetor here. And uh, this is actually where my propane line comes in. I'll show you some more details after I get this air box off. So there's simply one bolt which holds the airbox in place. The whole airbox just lifts out here. If you look in the uh, bolt of the carburetor, you'll see that there is a uh, extra hole on the left side here. This hole uh, creates a vacuum, uh, so it allows the uh, crankcase breather to recirculate the blow-by gases, the gases that blow by the piston rings, to be uh, burned back through the uh, combustion cycle. That way it's supposed to minimize the exhaust, or excuse me, minimize the, uh, the blow-by fumes that would otherwise leak out into the environment. And uh, this thing is just a little rubber elbow. Let's see how this connects here. This is our crankcase breather uh, tube. Uh, you can't really see where it goes in here, but this actually goes all the way uh, into the uh, into the uh, crankcase back here. It's screwed in there. This is just a little aluminum tube, uh, and it goes through this rubber elbow into the vacuum, into the uh, Venturi here. The one little minor modification that I made on this lawnmower is uh, just to add a 1 8 inch male-to-male uh, -male, um, tubing connector and I just used a uh, sharp tool to uh, punch a hole into the side of this uh, rubber elbow and stuck that male-to-male uh, -male connector in there and use some urethane glue to seal around it. I just had to uh, get something to hold this firmly without moving around too much while the glue dried overnight. And uh, it makes a nice seal. It makes a uh, pretty good uh, straightforward entrance for the propane to go directly into our carburetor. If you look inside my fuel tank right here, uh, it's nice and clean, nothing inside. Um, I haven't had any liquid gasoline in here for months uh, because I'm just running on propane only. But if I ever wanted to switch this thing back to gasoline operation, it's very, very simple. I just stop using the propane. There's nothing that I have to do. No switches to flip, uh, nothing to modify. The whole thing just goes back together. And I'm going to put this elbow back on here. There you go, one-handed. Okay, uh, one of the nice things about uh, the way this machine is made, there hap happens to already be some holes drilled here. I guess this is for uh, 
this would have been for a uh, throttle cable. Since this, since this is a single speed machine that does not have throttle, I just threaded a uh, wire tie through here so I could use this to hold my, um, my feed line in place. Let me go ahead and put this air box back on here too. We'll take a look at the other components that are involved in making this. This propane tube is uh, regular vinyl tubing which you can get from Home Depot. Uh, this is 1 8 inch inside diameter. And see that I have this routed up here along our handle and I have a simple wire tie holding it in place. Comes over here up to our propane regulator. This is a one pound disposable propane tank. I originally had uh, used this system with a much larger 20 pound tank and I held that in place with a rope sling but uh, it was too cumbersome. It was really weighing down the lawnmower too much. Um, this regulator is uh, something that was uh, something that I had just hanging around the house. You see this was removed from an old mosquito magnet. Uh, no longer needed this regulator. It uh, takes the uh, high pressure from the propane tank which is approximately somewhere between like 100 to 200 pounds per square, in square inch and then regulates it down to a pressure of about half of a pound per square inch. Uh, the other components that I have here let me take this apart so you can see it a little bit better. This little converter adapter here is something that they call a uh, Mr. Heater Steak Saver. Let me, uh, I'm going to have to free up one hand so I can get a, get a better picture of this. Okay, the reason why I'm using this adapter is because my regulator was originally made for connection to a 20-pound uh, uh, refillable propane tank. And uh, this regulator, you can see, has uh, this connector crimped in place. Um, I would have liked one that has a, uh, a threaded connector on here so I could change, you know, change to my... Uh, uh, disposable tank fitting, but uh, unfortunately this is the only regulator I had available. This adapter uh, I think I got from Ace Hardware. It cost approximately uh, $14. Uh, or Northern Tool also has the same device. And on this end is the connector, connector for the uh, disposable propane tank. And this end is the uh, mating connector, which is the same as what you see on a 20 pound refillable tank. Now, when we discuss uh, the economics of this or the cost, um, if I were to uh, continue to use disposable propane tanks for mowing my lawn every time, uh, I'm using about one of these tanks for cutting about 10,000 square feet of lawn. You can purchase these tanks in packages of two. Uh, usually it's about two for a little bit less than six dollars, so about three dollars for each tank. Um, that's not too expensive, uh, you know, for cutting that much grass area because uh, you're going to be spending approximately the same amount of money in gasoline. But uh, the other thing you can do is get a refilling adapter so you can refill these tanks from your 20 pound tank. Uh, there's several videos on YouTube which show you how to do that. The refilling adapter itself costs about uh, 13 or 14 dollars and um, locally we can get propane from U-Haul for about two dollars and 99 cents per gallon. So if you work out all the uh, numbers it uh, costs you somewhere between 62 to 67 cents to refill one of these tanks uh, instead of having to pay three dollars for a brand new one you can refill these old ones and it is legal to do.